Hello, in this video I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the numbered grid of the voice control in the iPhone. Today in front of me is the iPhone 12 with the iOS 17.4, but it really doesn't matter which iPhone you have or which version of the iOS you have, it is all going to work the same on every iPhone. So, what you want to do is to open settings, then you want to swipe down a little bit and go to the accessibility. Once you are here, you want to go to the voice control. So, then you want to swipe down and go to overlay, or just you can click it, you know, it is on the very bottom. It depends of how many settings you have on the screen, like the size of the letters or, you know. And then you want to click, by cl going to overlay, you want to choose numbered grid. So, click on this one. And here you have those two options with the automatic dimming. So after how many seconds uh, these are going to be dimmed and the dimmed opacity right here. So by clicking here, you can choose the uh, how many seconds you wanna have it dimmed after a showing. And also you can just turn this feature off or on. Uh, so go to in the dimmed opacity you can choose the dimmed opacity so 100% it means that it is going to be as it is still and the 50% or 40 it is going to be you know half uh, you, you are going to be able to see half through the mm, those numbered grid also you can choose the option to tap by default it means that if you are going to say a number with the voice control, uh, this is just going to be tapped. So if you're going to say 16, uh, the iPhone is going to tap on a place where it's 16 on the screen. Also, you can select the number of rows. As you can see, there are up to 31. And number of columns, they are just 14. So I'm going to leave it at automatic because it works the best for me. And I'm going to uh, turn on the top by default. So now I will show you how it works. So start listening. As you can see now, the voice control is listening, and now I do have the dimmed opacity. So on the screen of those grid, and now I can say, let's say, 24. 24. Okay, as you can see, and now uh, seven. As you can see, tap by default, it means when I'm just going to say the number of the grid, this is going to tap automatically. So let's say one. Go back. As you can see, uh, not every time the grid is the best because even if I said one it didn't go back but uh, you know it helps someone some time to uh, navigate you through the iPhone with the voice control with the numbered grid stop listening so I say I want to have now the rows maybe up to 31 and the number of columns up to 14 and see how it is going to work right now. So start listening. Start listening. Now we do have more rows and columns, as you can see. Very much, a lot of. And now if we're just going to say three. Three. Even now it is not working, so let's say maybe 97, 27, 2, 2 lower. It is still not working as it should, so I'm just going to leave this off and number of columns 
also automatic. And now, how to turn this feature off. So, I'm just going to say stop listening. Stop listening to turn off the voice control. And how to turn off this feature, just go open settings, go to the accessibility, then go to the voice control, and then in the overlay, just tap down. So, this is it. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you. If it did, please leave a like and consider to subscribe to our channel. Bye.